all new Chevy Performance Big Block. Thousand horsepower right out of the crate. And they're trusting us with it. Oh! What the size is this? 14. Smell it. It smells like pee. I have a car that I, I'm actually building a car right now. Here it is, the all new Chevy Performance Big Block. Look at the size of those heads. They haven't redesigned this engine in longer than I've been alive. And they gave us the first one. This one's just a prototype. They're giving us the first one to put into a really special car. Oh, hell no. No, uh, no. Oh, this one. This one. ZZ28, an exotic Camaro. That What is this one? This right here is a third gen Camaro right from Chevy's lot. We've been wanting to build a third gen for a while now. We had fire turd. We got rid of it for obvious reasons. Yeah. And now we're gonna build this one, which is actually straight out of Chevy's development fleet. Yeah, so we've been talking to Chevy for a while and they said, hey, we got this third gen Camaro that's actually been their development car since the early 90s. This has been Chevy engineers personal testing ground for a long, long time. Pretty cool car to start. It already has a big block. I'm imagining it's a 454. It's already got fuel injection in there. It's got air conditioning. It's got a shovel. You know it came with the shovel. Interior looks kind of clean. Did anybody want to explain why it's already a part? We already sent this thing over to our buddies in Strasport to paint it. Strasport hitting it with the classic single stage red. So I noticed it has no bumpers. We have a plan for that. We do have a plan for that. So we're actually working with Chevy really close on this build. So not only are they giving us their all new 632 crate motor, but we're also gonna work with them on custom bumpers it's front and 632. rear. 632. Yeah, it makes a thousand horsepower NA from the crate. Oh my. Can we take a second to talk about this? Chevy just developed a thousand horsepower, normally aspirated big block, which is an engine that's like just not even in their fleet anymore, right? It's basically just for building dickhead cars like yes. we do. Yeah. Dickhead. Thousand horsepower straight out of the crate. They did it and they're trusting us with it. Have they watched the show? Do they know what we do? It's not even built. It's so not built that they sent us this, which is made of plastic. That's just 3D printed. This is plastic too. It's like a good model paint. They still have the 427. It's that. Yeah, it's they the didn't even the wrong valve. Like they, they sent us this time. just for mock up. But anyway, 10 liters of fury in this thing that we have to build in a month. How do you feel about that, Soupy? A month? It's not like we don't have a bunch of other projects going on at the same time. It's already got a big block in it. It bolts in. How's it not already in the car? We have the strongest we team here. When I say we, Soupy and Dan, these are the we of whom again. We built this. We're gonna build this. Can you go look at Dan's face right now? He knows it. <laughs> Either way you look at it, yes, you're doing it. Team we. So anyway, we got this thing dropped off to us. We did a burnout in it. Somebody did it. Who did a burnout? That's the way to f***ing pull it into the shop. That was you. Soupy did you a burnout. Do a burnout. Thing already. I was trying to just like... Dude, I want to picture you with a mullet so bad. Did Imagine Soupy oh, with a mullet. Did. Just look that way. I'm just giving it to the editors, yes. man. Oh. You have to have a model to drive this thing. My first car, I had a 94 Dodge Caravan. My sister's first car, 25th anniversary, third gen Camaro. Wow, your dad loves your sister so much more. I, the third gen was always a hero car. The first time I saw one of these, it was my favorite car, hands down. First memory I have of a car. This was my second car I ever owned. My first cool. failed project. Oh, is this the redemption song? Yeah, I had a V6. Oh. We could let you build this car entirely by yourself. It's gonna happen anyway. I know, but at least we could all agree <laughs> upon it now. So anyway, enough justifying the third gen. It already has a big block in it. We're gonna rip that out. We're gonna put it in something else that's cool. Well, I think what we should do, because this is all about the crate motor, we should just do the cleanest shaved engine bay. Oh man, the Volkswagen kidding me just got excited. It's NA, so you don't have you to don't, worry about you have nothing. plumbing and piping and everything. Like you just got air cleaner. 
clean motor. Thousand. Are we gonna run air conditioning? No air conditioning, no power steering. We're gonna change it to a new cradle, racket pinion, some coilovers, a new rear, and a Jericho force speed. Woo! That just, I like how you just dropped that at the end, just a little mwah. You need a footprint gas pedal? Oh, <laughs> yes. I had to have a uh, footprint gas pedal installed. No objections here. Can we keep the shovel? The shovel has to stay. I think it just stays so in the trunk. Yeah. Like, can we make a little thing to hold the shovel in the trunk? Z28. Official. I got it's just a quick idea, right? Like, you have to clean the bay on there. That thing already runs. We could put this in here. Like, there's already room. Don't get distracted by that, okay? All right, so we gave you the basis of what we want to do to this thing. We should do what we do best, and that's unbuild. That's why you're here. I, I'm actually building a car right now. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds yeah. about right. Yeah. Fifteen. Dude, there's no way we're getting this done for SEMA. We can't even drain the oil. Why are we draining the oil? There's no point to drain the oil, right? No. We can drain the coolant. Now we gotta tighten it again. Oh, that's the drain right there. Crushing it right now. Not to <laughs> Sitting in Chevy's parking lot for the past 10 years. Oh, and they're like, give him the one who peed it. My hand is covered. Smell it. It smells like pee. <laughs> Watch it just explode in my hand. <laughs> Dumbest position possible. Uh -huh. Let's take a second. <laughs> Decapitated. Let's... Dude, I actually need some of these. These are magnetic too. Are they? Yeah. Bay. Are you using the shovel? Sick. Yo, dude, that's a good radiator. It smells like pee pee. The third it's gen market will buy everything that's in this. The third store. gen market yeah. is so angry that this is in our hands right now. Yes. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> is that a new bumper? Yeah. Custom. Custom? Fresh up off the block. Chevrolet, what a great vehicle. Really ahead of its time. Oh, gross. I love that thing. It's a really nice wrench. I need a set of these bad boys. Yo, considering that this car came out of Detroit, there's very little rust on this thing. I mean, that's pretty Detroit. Full Detroit. Nice. The rest isn't bad. Just oh, yeah. this piece, just that one. <laughs> For like a full-on Detroit living car, this ain't bad. It lived its it whole life in Detroit. Definitely could have been worse. Yeah. Look at the face he makes when he does it. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. Perfect. We go in the floor. Oh, wow. Did we? Almost. Oh, 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 God. <laughs> Do it by hand. <laughs> We're never getting this done. <laughs> go from the other side. Dude. Sick. It's got a wide band in this thing. I mean, it was a test car. Can you imagine guys over at Chevrolet? Remember all the good times we had in that test camera? They did let me know that there are some people on the team that weren't necessarily thrilled when they heard we were getting this car. <laughs> well, I hope you guys are watching because we cut the shit out of it. It's just exhausted. So let's take off the steering arm, whatever size that is, hit that bitch oh, with man. a hammer, take off the sway bar, and it should come down. Oh man. What do you mean? Oh man. I'll cut the right there. I've never seen anybody cut a drive shaft in half. Like, never. 
I think it would be easier to use four bolts. No way! You zip tie that to that, you're done. There you go. <laughs> Look at Rod. Hey, it came off super uh. easy. Where's the long one, Daniel? Oh, it's not more. I think he's gonna hit me in the balls. Did someone grab the other side? No, I don't see it. I was gonna say, turn that thing on slow mo. Let's get this. Is it all gonna come it's off all, together? Yeah, yeah, it's all yeah, gonna yeah. come down together. How much does a big block weigh? Oh, a lot. Yes. Gotta take the A arms off. Is this one piece? We've we been doing this all wrong the whole time. Look, it's not beyond the realm of possibility. I am definitely not a mechanic. I was gonna say smart. Is that fuel? Fuel line was, yeah. Get the, the fuel, bucket! If you could tell, he was trying to find a way to blame the fuel line. Did you cut the fuel line? No, the fuel line was cutting itself. Damn it. Oh, God. <laughs> I fixed it. I don't remember those being stock wheels. They are? Z28. I sure. bet you we could probably sell those for a lot of money. Brake lines on this thing? We have to. Yeah, why would we not redo brake lines? What's way I'm better? Bad. I'm a bolt on boy. I don't know this shit. I gotta show off how <laughs> strong I am. It is me, Alex. Check out my pecs. Your pecs are epic. So we just need a couple two by fours so we can oh, remove this. What? Yeah, you do that. Why are you so far away? Dude, that was so easy with my gear wrench, 45 degree angle cutters. Oh yeah. Yo, that whole thing is being held up by one brake line. That's a pretty good brake line. Oh yeah, that's felt okay. good. We need that. No, it's automatic. Wow. You know what we screwed up? We didn't tie this thing down. It had a good possibility of flipping over. Backwards. on Backwards. <laughs> nah, it's good. Time to get started on this Camaro. The... You did it. What the heck? What time is it? 4.20. Um, guess what is 4.20? <laughs> what did we do today, Dan? We uh, pulled out the monstrous 454 that was in this car. Pretty poorly, we did that. <laughs> Just cut it all off. Just cut, cut it all out. Cables, oh my brake lines. Oh my it's already had a big block in it, and now it's running for another. 632 cubic inches. That's 10.3 liters. This one? Yo, this thing's a hog. <laughs> oh, this is just like, some, mock this is a mock-up. Yeah. Thousand horsepower yeah. right off the rip. In a. Pump yeah. gas? Pump gas. No way. Yeah. Thousand horsepower pump I'm gas. I'm saying you're just done, right? Like you just buy this and then you're done. 10.3 liters. 10.3 liters. What is this even, is there a video of what that sounds like? I have no idea. So I guess next step is getting this mock-up in. Yeah, we're gonna mock it up, but we're gonna clean and shave the engine bay too. Oh, so. when are you guys doing that? So I know. Um, I'll tell you when we're done. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You can't give me that thing. You What's up, everybody? We got the Camaro on the thing, and... Is this thing even recording? Daniel's doing an excellent job. You should get Daniel. Yeah, but he's not a host. You're the host. Oh. <laughs> I hope this thing's waterproof. Arms All right, so we... We've done pressure washing, and it looks damn good. 
Now we're gonna take the fenders and the doors off. Grim's gotta get underneath the dashboard to do a whole bunch of stuff with our pedals, our steering columns, and it's just way easier to do it with the doors off. So let's get it back on the lift and start putting pieces back on. Are you for real? Sam, get the table! No! Sam! Sam, you're not. Dude, it's barely on. Oh. Got a lot done today. We opened up all our new parts. Got a new engine brake for the front. Got the rear differential for the back. Opened up this universal four lane. Not gonna use that, gonna return that. We got a four speed dog box for this bad boy. Getting the dashboard all taken apart. Rear end, we initially had it taken out, but we put it back in the mock up for our four link suspension system. We'll get all our measurements for the four link and we'll get it welded up and it'll be awesome. Yep, sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We got an engine in the third gen. Super, take us away. <laughs> All right, motor's in. The Jericho transmission's in. 632 cubes. Yo, I think we're gonna have to notch for the valve covers. For what? There's no brake booster. No, I mean for the hood. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we gotta have some big hood on this, right? Or it's, it's, no it's hood. Like, the hood's gonna be like this big. Oh, look at the Jericho. Oh, that's some race car stuff. That's some race car stuff right That's the most race car thing we've had. Yeah, man. We got reinforcements coming in. What else we got here? Well, we took the steering box out. Now we have a rack of pinion. That's a big that's jump. That's a big thing. No more sloppy yeah. steering. And look, in the end, the... Uh, in the end, it doesn't, doesn't even matter. matter. That's how we end episodes now. That's it. By the way, the engine's in the car and it fits. Yo, is that your entry song for Burnyard next year? Dude, I'm gonna come in like, Hit him with, a, it. with a wrestler. So, <laughs> 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 Catch the next episode.